Hello everyone, welcome back to Indiana Kayak Fishing Journal. Welcome to my first ever ice fishing video. I've had the channel for quite a while now and I've never done an ice fishing video and there's one main reason for that. I just don't do a lot of ice fishing. If I get out a couple times in any given year, that was a lot of ice fishing for me. I used to do a lot of ice fishing about a dozen years ago, uh, but since then I figured out that I can go kayak fishing, canoe fishing almost every single month of the year without a problem in Indiana and usually catch fish. So like I said, I just don't do a lot of ice fishing, uh, but sometimes, especially in February, the weather gets really cold, we get a lot of ice, we get a lot of snow, and it's hard to go out and do any kayak fishing. So going out to target yellow perch is a really good alternative to trying to go kayak fishing this time of year. The fish are really aggressive. Once you're on them, they are really pretty easy to catch for the most part, and there's a lot of fun to catch, and they're really good eating. So. They're definitely a great species to target in February. Usually you really can't even go out to target them until February on some of these main lake basins because in Indiana we just don't get ice soon enough to get out any earlier to try to target them. So that's basically what we did in this trip. You know, this footage is from Sunday the 13th and we basically just walked out to uh, as deep waters we could find in this particular lake. The deepest parts are about 60 feet. We walked out to the deepest water we could find. We drilled three holes. We drilled one for our Vexilar and then one for each of us to fish out of. And we put the shanty up and put the heater on and got it nice and toasty in the shanty. And we sat on those three holes the entire day without moving and caught a bunch of fish. So I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Got it. Got one? Yep. Nice, man. Good work, good Got work. Him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feels like a good fish, huh? I don't know. Uh, it's hard to tell that deep. Right. It's a good fish. Ten feet below the hole. Here it comes. Yeah, decent one. Decent. Oh, yeah. He's not huge, but he's good. decent. It's a good start. Yep. That was fast. Excellent. Damn, those Very other ones fast. disappeared. Very but... fast. <laughs> nice, man. See? Cool. You're going to get into it. Cool. You, got it you got it figured out the last time. Yep. Looks like there's one right on the bottom there. That's, kinda, that's I was going to ask you about that. Is that a fish right there? Yep. Oh, he's coming for it. Yep. Get ready, get ready. He's going to come get you. right on it right now got him nice dude nice smashing it oh yeah this really could be a better one yeah this is a better one I think oh yeah You're still 10 feet below the hole. I know. It's the fun thing about getting them that deep. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mondo. Oh, man. That's bigger than any That's of the ones I caught last time. That's what we're looking for. Oh, man. Dude, Mondo perch. That's freaking awesome. Yes. Excellent. That's what you were after. Excellent. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice fish, man. Look at that thing. Excellent. Dude, giant. Thank you. Cool. Dude. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a really big one. We'll have to measure that one when we get home. Oh, there's another one leading up there. About tw right around the 20 marker. Yep. Clear off the bottom. <laughs> that was clear, literally clear off the bottom. This feels like a small one though. Yeah, it feels pretty tiny. Yeah, 
is pretty small. I'm gonna let that one go. It'll go. Hopefully he makes it. Yeah, just shot straight back down. That was a pretty small one. All right, well, now that you've seen us catch a couple of fish, I wanted to go over briefly how you can find some of these perch to get on them yourselves. So the biggest thing is you have to have a lake that has a lot of yellow perch in it. Now, a couple of resources that you can go to to figure out what lakes have good populations of yellow perch in them is one, the DNR, Indiana DNR website uh, has a where to fish fish finder map. And they'll tell you like what species are in each lake and then a lot of times they'll also have like a management report attached to that where they did shocking surveys of the lake and if you see a lot of yellow perch on those shocking surveys you know that you're going to be in the ballpark going out there another big resource that i have is actually just uh it's called like the sportsman's connection and it's just a map or a book of maps of lakes and a lot of times they'll have um, shocking information as well so you just look for those lakes that have a lot of yellow perch in them now, when I'm actually looking for specific locations for yellow perch, especially in February, the easiest tactic you can do is actually just walk out to the deepest water you can find. And generally, once I get out to that deep water, I do not move the entire day. You can basically chase these fish around, uh, but they're going to be very, very difficult to stay on top of as they're just constantly roaming, constantly looking for food. I think the best tactic is just to stay where you are and wait for those fish to come to you. They're going to basically just be doing a loop and when they come through, you're going to catch two or three or whatever, and then they're going to be gone for a little bit, and then they're going to come back through again. So that's the basic idea. Like I said, I just look for a lake that has a lot of yellow perch in it, look for some of the deepest water in that lake, some of the deeper basins, walk out there, drill a couple holes, sit there, wait for the fish to come to you. He's coming for it. He's right there. No fair. I thought he was going to come for mine, and then he just... Shoots over and grabs yours. Shoot. He struck it too and I missed it. Got him. Got him that time. Yep. Nice. Good job, man. Got him. Sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. You got him way the hell down there too. Oh yeah. Like almost 50 feet down. Feel like a good one? Uh, Decent maybe? Yeah, it's hard to... Uh... That rod seems pretty limber, so it's hard to tell. You're right. Uh, I don't think he's decent. I think he's decent. Yeah, decent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a good yep. one. Yep, not a bad fish. Nope, not, a, not, not bad a at bad all. Not a bad fish. Awesome. Yep, we'll yeah, take that. Yeah, that, that was a battle for this one. We'll take as many like that as we can get. Yeah, like I said, after... I missed him. I know once for sure I thought I might have ruined my chances. Thought I almost here we go, here like we go. something melting up here. Yep. Oh yeah. I think there's more than one. I'm gonna go just below you for oh, now. Damn it. Hold on, hold on. Oh come on. There he is. Oh. Awesome. Come on up and get that other yep, one. Yep, 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 He's yep. following mine up. <laughs> he's coming, he's coming. Yep. He's going to hit it. You got him. Oh, 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 no. oh, he smashed it, too. Oh, no. Absolutely smashed it. Wait, he's back. Try pulling it away from him a little bit. Go up above him. Beautiful fish. He hit it again. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, he's still right there. Got him this time. Got him that time? Yep, third time's a charm. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Third time's a charm. Oh, that was that was awesome. There's still more wow. down there. Oh, wow. Could have a decent one here. Oh yeah, they're coming through. Oh, come on, come on. Yep, decent yep, one. Yep, good one. Nice one, man. Oh, sweet. Man, I, like I said, after the third try, he let me have three chances at him. That is crazy. <laughs> hit the edge of the ice. Are you chasing phantoms down there? What are you doing? Yeah, I hit the edge of the ice. I got one coming up to me now. I just seen a little bit of something pop in in this area. 
get trying for that bottom by. Oh yeah, here he comes. Yep. Maybe you can maybe you can capitalize. It's a tough bite down there. Did you hit it? Yeah, oh yeah. Here he comes. Got him that time. Awesome. Feels like a good fish. I was say, that, that looks like a good one. That is such a cool bite when you get them down that deep. It's a tough Start, bite. It's starting to feel smaller now. Mm -hmm. oh, he's decent. He'll come home. Nice little male. Yep. Perfect. What does that make? Ten of them in the bucket? Nine. Nine of them? Yeah, I think there's nine in there now. Yeah, he's decent. He's like, oh, that's yeah. only like an eight or nine incher maybe. Yeah, but that, that's one of our smaller ones. That's a crazy thing. But there's a good fillet off of that fish. Look at his eyes bugging out. I know. <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so I wanted to talk briefly about the gear that I'm using to catch these yellow perch. Um, so what I've got is actually a Legend Ice Rod from St. Croix. Um, it's a very short rod. Um, it has a little bit of backbone to it, which is nice. I've got that paired with a small Sienna 500 Shimano reel. Um, I've got that spooled with just four pound uh, monofilament line. And then basically what I've got tied in here is just down to a little one-tenth of an ounce Swedish pimple jigging spoon. It seems like any color of these work from natural all the way to really, you know, really hot, like bright pink, bright orange. All the colors seem to work. When these fish are on and they're active, you're going to catch them on pretty much anything that kind of is that right size and shape. So like I said that 10th ounce Swedish pimple has been my go-to allure the last four or five years and caught a ton of fish on those. Now the last thing um, I wanted to mention is this rod comes equipped with a spring bobber uh, on the rod itself. Now it makes it really nice because you can detect those really light bites. You know, if they if you, they're, they just barely grab your lure, you're still gonna be able to see it. Um, the other way you can go about it is just to get a really limber sensitive rod um, that has a really sensitive tip where you can see those bites. Um, that's gonna be your best bet for trying to catch these yellow perch. That's the rig I've been using and it's been working really well for me. Oh my gosh, awesome. that guy just flew up and just smashed that. Oh my God, that was stupid. I just saw him coming from below yours. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, there he comes. He's a little small. Oh nice. What do you think about that one? Should I keep that one or throw that one back? He's borderline. I'm throwing back. We're doing. Oh man, come on. He's right there. Yeah, I'm gonna let that one go. If she'll go. Go. Go back down. Yep. Got it. Got him that time. This is either a really big one or nope, <laughs> not a big one, just a little tiny one. Crazy. At least you got one. Yeah, no joke. All right, we're gonna put you back. About time. Can't oh, get, can't get down there quick enough to get the attention of another one. If he doesn't get caught on the ice, pop off. Okay. He's decent. Decent one. You got him clear on the bottom too. Clear though, so. on the bottom. That pretty yeah, fish. not a big fish, but no. He's decent. So you notice a lot of these fish that we're catching are in really deep water. You know, a lot of the fish are 30 to 60 feet down. So one thing you have to be really careful with, especially um, if you're going to try to release fish is that these fish are really sensitive. So if you pull them up from that deep water, a lot of times they just won't survive the process. Their eyes will bug out, they'll spit their air bladder out. So like I said, if you reel them up really slowly, they have enough time to kind of adjust to it and a lot of times you can release them. Um, but the ones that look like they're not gonna make it are probably not gonna make it. So even if they're kind of on the small side, you know, eight or nine inches, I would just go ahead and keep those fish as opposed to throwing them back. 
Now, the other thing too with yellow perch this time of year is they are getting ready to spawn here in the next month. So uh, the females are absolutely full of eggs. Uh, one thing that I've been doing is when I've been filleting the fish, I've actually been keeping the egg sacs and then just breading them and frying them just like I would the fillets. And they actually taste really good. Um, the texture is really weird, as you can imagine, and then just kind of getting over like the mental block of eating a sack of fish eggs um, is kind of tough for some people. But like I said, if you eat them, they're really good, and it just keeps those eggs from going to waste. You know, I hate like cutting a fish open, pulling a bunch of eggs out, and just throwing them in the garbage. So like I said, it's a good alternative um, to just throwing them away is to fry them up and eat them. And actually, they taste really good. Um, so that's another tip for you guys, you know, something you might want to consider when you're out perch fishing. He's chasing it. Come on. Oh, there was a tick. Yep. Did you see that? Yep, I did. Oh, there he is. Got him. Nice. Good Got job, him. bud. Awesome. That was cool. That was cool as hell. That was. <laughs> I oh, saw you. Like... You saw him tick it before that too. Yep. It feels like a good one too. It's solo fish, you know, come in by itself, so it could be a good one. Got to have him right here. Oh, he just got caught on the ice. Oh, God. Oh, it's, it's a, a big one, Another too. nice one. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Oh, he, I almost lost it. <laughs> oh. That's cool, man. Oh, man. He got caught, he got caught on the ice, too. Yes. That's awesome. That's a good fish, too. <laughs> I seen him get, I seen him get caught down there on the edge. I'm like, no. No. I'm so glad I got this fish. For the love of God. Kidding me right now. There he is. Good. Nice. Man, I missed a couple of bites right there, too. That's crazy. Got it. Fish on. Nice one. This is a nice one, too. Oh, this is a big one. Look at this. Oh, this is a big one. I got a good one here, too. This is probably my nicest one of the day. You said you got a good one? I, I, he was just pulling like crazy. Oh, yeah, I think he feels good. I got a good one here in hand. Yep. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, real nice one. Oh, man, oh, look at that two perch. Look at that. Two look at a time. <laughs> Dude, freaking awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. Oh. <laughs> How fun is that? All right, I got mine off. Let me get them off, hold them up yeah. real quick. Dude, look at those perch. How cool is that? Two at a time. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome, man. Those are both nice ones, too. Yep. Sweet. That's too neat, man. That is cool as hell. That's a, so that school's got big ones in it. Yep. They were aggressive too, weren't yep. they? Oh yeah. That's awesome. That's how we want them. Yeah, man. man. I that was, was cool, not so. expecting that. There's still fish down there too. Look at that guy. I'm going to try to go get him real quick. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not real deep either. No. Here he comes. Shallow God. Oh, he just left. Took off? No, oh, no. Actually, he's back again. Looked like he was just going to leave. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Got him. For real? Yep. That's... It's another nice one, dude. He's fighting so hard. Look at that. Oh, Look at him fight. Oh, oh my. yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, that is an absolute giant. Oh. Dude, that's like a 14 incher. Oh my god. <laughs> it's down there just by itself hanging out. Look at that fish. That, that is so cool. <laughs> that's a huge pink fish, man. Nice catch. Dude. Nice. nice. Catch, That's dude. awesome. I cannot believe yep. that. Two right back, I know. back to back. I, I like waited that. that long and then didn't get anything, oh, and then man. bam, 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 bam. All right, we just finished up a hell of a day of ice fishing. Look at these yep. nice perch that we got. We got about 14 to take home. Missed a ton of other ones. 
it was a hell of a day. Awesome day. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, we were getting these them. are the trophies of the day <laughs> right here. All right, so at the end of the day, this is what Alex and I ended up with. We got 15 really nice perch, including these two biggest ones that are laying on top here that are almost 13 inches long. And then we got a bunch of other fish, you know, between nine and 13 inches. We ended up with 15 fish total. These guys are gonna be awesome. They're gonna fillet up really good. Um, they're gonna taste great. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the video today. Thank you for watching my first ever ice fishing video. Um, Alex and I had an absolute blast catching these fish. They're so much fun to catch and I'm totally addicted to it. I'm already looking forward to next winter to go out and do it again. Um, we ended up with 15 nice fish to take home for dinner and boy, those fish were really good eating. We ate them the other night and they were just fantastic. Some of the best eating fish that you can get. Thank you to everybody who uh, likes, comments, subscribes, shares these videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.